Okay, this should be a pretty fun hunt. I got two days this weekend. Pretty rare for me this time of year. So, grabbing the camper, headed up in the mountains. Gonna go back to the hard cider bootlegger site and see if we can add to that story. And then the next day, I'm gonna hopefully, oh, just on a whim, <laughs> go find some sort of a gold mining camp. Um, you know, like an old homestead built along like a, you know, an old gold mining creek. So that's gonna, we'll see. You know, I don't know that there's a site anywhere there. I'm just gonna go try to find one. But anyways, it should be a fun time. Anyways, let's get to the episode. Okay, Gunner and I made it back to the bootlegger camp. And this place has just been awesome. Um, found so many buttons, buckles. I found jewelry, I found the orchard, heater. I mean, you name it, we found it here. Um, I've only been here twice, this is the third trip. So we'll see what we can find. Just got here, but this is the first uh, good target. Some sort of file, and that's right at the base of an apple tree. So anyways, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, you should probably go back and check them out. Um, essentially, we're thinking this is a old hard cider distillery area. It's like a hidden little micro valley up in the mountains. And we're thinking they used to um, put the cider in barrels and then uh, bury them. And yeah, you know, we found a ton of barrel rings. But yeah, you should go watch the other two episodes. I explain it a little in a little bit more detail and you can see the other things we found, but on with the hunt and see what we can get. I'm sure I've shown some of this before, but man, there's a ton of crazy iron up in here too. I mean, I don't know what that is. You tell me. Okay, that was kind of scary. I just got caught in a lightning storm, but I survived. <laughs> Anyways, here's my good, uh, my first good find since the lightning storm, which just barely ended. A little saw, saw blade. Gunner wants me to throw it, I guess. All right, trouser button. Definitely still finding stuff. All right, there's a pair. Well, there we go. Spoon handle. Probably. I guess it could be a fork. Okay, right next to that nail. I should have live dug this last thing. Ah, it's just another nail. Look at that. Got me a skeleton key. How awesome is that? Huh. If it's broke off, it almost looks like uh, something used to just kind of fit on there. But dude, skeleton key. Awesome. Nice, there's a complete spoon. I'm in the area where Brad found a zillion spoons last time. I actually haven't dug in here, so this is kind of cool. Got a skeleton key out of this spot and a spoon. All right, let's keep going. So crazy. Why would there be so many spoons? Last time, uh, Brad dug like 13 out of this spot. Crazy. More spoon. Now there's a nice big old iron buckle. Or is it a drawer pull? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Spoon on slot continues. Look at that, guys. I got a clip. Got to admit, man, it's been kind of a hard dig today. Guess I did a lot better here than I thought. Oh, that's fancy. What does that say? I guess it's our kicker. Wow, that's fancy. Pretty cool. So I wish I would have filmed it, but there's like a secret little road leaving the area and it's just right up this just teeny little draw, like one mountain to the other might have been 40 feet. <clears throat> and then there were more apple trees on the way up. And then I just kind of like went up on this little flat in the middle of nowhere, hit a couple tin cans. 
decided, my gosh, I'm hungry. I should eat a sandwich. And then look, I found this big, deep cellar hole. This is like the middle of nowhere. And there's cans everywhere. Like you can see old wood. That's kind of crazy. Maybe I'll have to check this out for a minute and see if I can find anything. So there's just big tin cans everywhere. And that cellar hole is so deep and so hidden. I mean, if you saw where I was, you'd be like, why in the world would anyone live right here? I think this is one of the spots they were hiding barrels. I think it was in that cellar hole. I'm pretty sure there's a mason jar lid here. Anyways, man, the story of this place just gets deeper all the time. I'm, on, I'm probably half a mile from the other side, but up the secret road that's hidden by the other secret cellar. Man, what a weird, weird spot. All right, let's see what else I can get. Okay, I must be on like my seventh or eighth mason jar lid or ball or whatever they are. Crazy. Looks like I just got a little lamp part. I can't believe how much activity is here. If you could even see how mu how many tin cans and stuff there are. It's crazy. This little spot had so much activity. It's amazing. So check this out, guys. Here's a barrel ring. Here's a barrel ring. I got a barrel ring over here. See it right there? And I see another one right here. Oh, there's another one right here. It's crazy. Oh. And I see one up the hill there. Oh, I see a couple up the hill. Oh, here's another one right here. See, that's a lot of barrel rings for this hidden little spot. My dog's huffing. He's not impressed with something. Oh yeah, I'm in a pile of barrel rings right here. One. Sorry about the metal detector. I don't have my headphones in today. That one, that one. Like there's one over there. It's crazy. There's one right here. Like. I don't know. I really think, guys, this is a bootlegger spot. Because this doesn't make sense. Nobody would live right here. I'm telling you. They're just not going to do it. I mean, they're not ranging cows. They're not farming. The only thing, the only thing back in here is all those hidden apple trees. Well, I'm going to have to walk out soon, unfortunately. This has been a super fun day, though. Uh, I am camping, so I'm going to hit somewhere tomorrow. I don't know that I'll hike clear back in here. It is a long hike. I got maybe some other ideas for tomorrow, but what a fun adventure. Look at that, guys. Bunch of elk just down from camp. With all their calves. Okay, so it's a new day. I'm trying some mining camps. Well, the mosquitoes are bad. But I got this neat little thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it says like Glastonbury, Connecticut, established 1840. Awesome. Look at that. You got me part of a pocket watch. I think I'm onto something. So I found a cellar hole here, and then I just found their garbage pit. So 
Yeah, I think I'm in the right spot. Well, this looks like a broken piece of a silver plated suspender clip to me. Awesome, so I don't know if it's better in the sun or the shade, but there's a fancy second piece to it. All the same hole. Pretty sure they went together. Look how ornate that is. That's awesome. So we're definitely at the right spot. I mean, I'm just looking for these sites. I don't even necessarily knew that they were here. But I found the spot where the cabin was. I found the cellar hole. I found the garbage hole. And now we're getting relics. So I think this is going to be an old mining camp. We got something round in the hole. What do we got? Oh, looks like <laughs> we have a, that's like a train overall button. Man, I've just been into these a lot this year. This has got to be like my fifth one, I think. And they haven't all been overall buttons. I got a couple that were just like the little two-piece. It's really cool though. We got a 14 signal. It's the top to a two piece. Let me clean it up a bit. Let me get back. Well, speak of the devil. Can you see that? That's what I was talking about. There's the two piece train button. It's like a locomotive engine headed to the right. All right, there's another train button. I did find another uh, denim button, but it was so rough, I just decided not to show it to you. Anyways, we're getting some stuff. I sure do like digging these old sites. It's fun. I mean, I love going for gold rings and stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, relics. It's fun. <laughs> Look at this. I got an unfired bullet. <laughs> That's been in there so long. <laughs> That the slug is starting to deteriorate away. All right. Pretty sweet weekend. We were able to, you know, get some relics. We added to the story about the hard cider bootlegger site. Found a whole new location where it looks like they were hiding even more barrels. And wow, was that just a crazy spot. I mean, I'm just like beating brush up this little goat trail just in the, the bottom of this just tight canyon. There's just a creek and mountain on each side. It's only, you know, 30, 40 feet across. And then all of a sudden it gets a little boggy and uh, I head up on the hill and there's a little flat spot. And I just bump into, you know, a bunch of tin cans and stuff. And, I sit down to eat a sandwich and I look over to my left and I'm like, holy cow, I think I see an old cellar hole. So, um, anyways, here in Montana, they're a lot harder to find. You know, our history doesn't go back, you know, like they do in New Hampshire and stuff. You know, we don't have a homestead at the end of every road, unfortunately. Most of our roads are logging roads that were built much later. So, and then, you know, I go up, you know, with no idea just a hunch and see a little teeny you know unimproved road and head down on it and end up finding a gold mining camp get some more relics there i mean yeah what a fun weekend hanging out with the dog he's totally trashed he just wants to sleep now <laughs> but anyways if you like what you saw uh, think about subscribing. Anyways, good luck out there, guys. Get some treasure.